Hi, it's Marham here from Anna Money. We are a business bank account for small businesses and a business admin app that helps you calculate your VAT return so that you basically don't have to. If you are interested in any of those kinds of products, please do have a look at our description um, below where you can find some links to uh, more information about the products that we offer. But this video in particular, I'll be talking you through one of our free tools that is available on our website, anna.money. Um, and this particular tool is our is our VAT filing MTD ready template. Um, it basically helps you calculate your VAT return for free um, by you manually inputting all your sales and expenses transactions into it. So you can find this, as I said, on the website. Once you've downloaded the particular template that is relevant for you, we have three different types of templates. One is for a cash basis, if you're cash accounting, one is for invoice accounting, and one is if you are on the flat rate scheme. There's five different tabs in each of the spreadsheets. The first one is welcome, as it is here, which basically gives you a quick guide on how to use the template. We have the VAT return tab, which is a total of each box of your VAT return that you will need to um, submit to HMRC. You don't need to worry about this um, tab here. This automatically pre-populates as you enter the information that you want to submit in your VAT return in the sales and expenses tab. Then you do have your sales tab, um, which looks something like this. I've already popped in some example transactions in there that I'll talk you through just so that we can see how the spreadsheet actually takes the information and calculates about return. Um, but all you'd need to do is just input the information there for your sales. And then we have a similar one for the expenses tab. Again, I've made some example transactions that I will talk you through. And then we have the options tab. You don't need to worry about this. This is just some information for the actual spreadsheet so that they can understand your transaction a little bit better and make sure that they can allocate that transaction into the correct VAT return box that it needs to basically be allocated to. So if we start with the sales tab, all you need to do is import your sales transactions in within this tax period onto this spreadsheet. Um, invoice number, customer name, date paid, net amount, and then your VAT rate that applies to that particular transaction. As soon as you pop in the VAT rate and the net amount, you'll see that it will basically populate the VAT amount and the total amount of that transaction. So if I pop in 20% VAT there, then it will obviously populate the VAT amount according to that rate. Obviously, if it's 5% VAT or 0% VAT that you apply to that transaction, then pop that rate in. Then you have the options tabs um, or column, sorry, make sure that you categorize the transaction correctly just so that it allocates that transaction into the correct VAT return box that it needs to go into. Um, for sales, you have the option of miscellaneous goods supplied from Northern Ireland to an EU member state as well. So that if any of those transactions apply um, to goods or are a goods that have been supplied from Northern Ireland to an EU member state, then that needs to go into box eight of the VAT return. And then the spreadsheet will make sure that it allocates it to that particular box. If we go on to expenses, same practice, invoice receipt, supplier name, transaction date, net amount, VAT rate. Once you pop in the VAT rate, then it will calculate the VAT amount that we're gonna claim for you in this VAT return. And also the total amount um, it will go in there. Similarly, you need to make sure that you select the correct category under options. If it's an acquisition of goods made in Northern Ireland from an EU member state, it needs to go into box nine of the VAT return. And if you select that particular category, it'll make sure that it gets into box nine under the spreadsheet. Also, if it's a purchase of services from outside of the UK, reverse charge applies so that if you so if you select that particular category to that transaction, then the spreadsheet will make sure to allocate it to the correct VAT return boxes that it needs to go into for that reason. But otherwise, it's as simple as that. Import all of your sales and trans sales transactions and expense transactions into those tabs and then the VAT return tab will populate all the final figures for you. Once they're um, calculated, then you're basically ready to submit your VAT return. Um, we do have two different ways in how to submit your VAT return, installing the add-in or filing online under our web VAT filing tool. I'll make a separate video for you to go through um, to go through with you on how to actually submit your VAT return with MTD with um, Anna, sorry, because it is completely MTD um, compliant. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, leave any questions below if you have any. We'll be happy to answer. Thank you.